Hello friends, my name is Ankush. In this video, we are going to see how to convert a physical standby database to snapshot standby database. A physical standby database is open with the mount stage and snapshot standby database we can open it in a read write mode. Whenever you are in a situation where you want to do some kind of the testing on the standby database you can open the databases is in read write mode we call it as a snapshot standby database the time when you are convert the physical standby database to the snapshot standby database it create a guaranteed restore point with the help of flashback area so make sure your flashback recovery area is enabled okay so let me show you what are all the steps that we are going to cover to convert it to the snapshot standby database so as i said earlier this flashback on should be enabled we are going to check the mrp process whether the mrp process is currently running or not if the mrp process is currently running then we need to stop it by using this command so this is the important command to create to convert it to the snapshot standby database and at last we are going to open the database okay so let's go in a practical way to uh, to create the restore point guaranteed restore point the flashback status should be enabled so before that let me check the status on both the physical and primary server this is the primary database server you can check the name on as uh, as on the top as a primary database server and this is the standby database the white screen you can refer it as a physical standby database okay let me check first again so this is my primary database prime and currently it is up and running you can check the database role as well same thing we are going to check on the physical standby database yes this is a physical standby database and currently it is up and running okay we are going to check whether the flashback is enabled or not on the physical standby database it is showing as yes flashback is enabled it means to say the time when you are converting the physical standby database to snapshot standby database it is going to create one restore point and all the leg logs will be get stored to the flashback area now we are checking whether the mrp process is currently running or not see here as of now i can i cannot see the mrp process is currently running so there is no issue and this is the same i have opened just alert log file in a third putty just to check what are all the things what are all the errors we are getting while converting it and what are all the steps is oracle going to perform internally okay so there is no need to cancel the mrp because the mrp process i can see here okay sorry 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 the mrp process is currently running i didn't check it properly okay MRP process is currently running so we just need to cancel the MRP I'm cancelling the MRP here let me check the MRP process again see here previously MRP process was showing and it was uh, waiting for the log 113 but now you cannot see the MRP process here so everything is looking fine we have reached till this step and this is what we are going to convert to the snapshot standby alter database convert to snapshot standby okay and as i said earlier snapshot standby database can be open in a read on read write mode so this is the main feature of the snapshot standby database because in order to make the testing on the snapshot standby database 
we are opening this database and now at last we are going to check the status of the database whether it is reflecting see here the name of the database is std actually it's an instance name and currently it's a snapshot standby database open in a read write mode if i want to create anything i can create it here see here the table has been created so whatever the changes whatever the ma uh, manipulation dml operation if you want to uh, do it on the snapshot standby database you can do it because we can convert the snapshot standby database get open in a read write mode and to convert it and just to convert it it is uh, it has created as a uh, it has created a flashback point let me show you see here i am using this restore point view to check about the see here if i am converting back to the physical standby database it is going to use the same restore point just now we have created this snapshot standby underscore required this is a default name for the restore point okay so thank you so much for watching this video uh, this is how we can convert the physical uh, sorry this is how we can convert it to the snapshot standby database see you with the next video